Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at how to make a dragon breathing fire. I like you see in this here. Let me just play you the some of the preview animations that I've done so that you can see. So it's uh, we have this castle interior. It just break through. Just play the animation for you here. Just break through the walls and then starts spitting fire like it's nothing like here. You see there. So that's uh, the viewport I mentioned. Let's uh, look at uh, this render preview. Yeah, I wanted to focus on the dragon, but uh, yeah, I couldn't help myself, but um, build an entire scene around that uh, to make things a bit interesting. And I added some, uh, yeah, the ceiling collapsing as it falls onto the, yeah, so yeah, I'm a big fan. I was a big fan of uh, Game of Thrones. so got some inspiration from that but uh, anyway so let's uh, look at how to set this up yeah so i got this uh, model from 3d free 3d models com, and i also I did some bit of texturing to make it look a bit better than uh, how the model looks so i added the scales here with a simple texturing uh, but i yeah that's uh uh, that's, if you download the model from three three D models, uh, it won't look exactly like this because of uh, the text. These scales won't be there. So if you if you just look, it's a bit different. And I think this looks really nice. Uh, yeah, if you yeah, and uh, I've seen was models are for movies and uh, some uh, TV series. Uh, whoever did this model really did a great job i'll leave a link in the description for you to check out the model as well and uh, if you want to check out the projects the entire project you can just go to my patreon page and uh, uh you can find now uh, coupled with uh, some good some lighting you can see how this looks i think it comes out really nicely yeah so Let's talk about the fire. So the, the setting up the fire is very simple. I just have, again, you can watch the time lapse if you want to see the entire process from building the uh, the environment, setting up the lighting and uh, the fire itself, plus animating the dragon because the, uh, the dragon comes in, I download it without any animation. It's rigged, but uh, it's not animated. So I did the animation myself. Uh, let me play that for you again. Yeah, so I set up the animation and everything. So if you want to watch, how I did that, how you can uh, go to my second channel, Blender Money. I'll be leaving the link in the description so that you can check out the entire process from start to finish. But uh, let's talk about the uh, the smoke simulation or the fire simulation, which is a very simple thing to do. So to get the fire to emit directly from this dragon, let me first turn off some of the issues here. You can see I have this emitter here, uh, this plain emitter. And that is parented uh, to this bone here. So whenever I move this bone, that emitter moves with it. And uh, this is a particle emitter. So you can see nothing. I didn't change too much here, except that uh, I made the start ring of the particles to be around around 110 so that the particles are not emitted at frame zero. So if I turn back the particles on, uh, report, report uh, points, let me, let me just use circles here, reduce the size. You can see the particles get start emitting at around frame 109 and uh, in at around 200. Uh, the lifetime, it doesn't really that matter that much. But if you want more fire, you can increase the particle numbers and uh, also increase the uh, increase. Uh, excuse my uh, these dogs here. But uh, so yeah, that uh, let's see what else did I change here? Nothing much. I accept I increase the velocity, and yeah, that's it. So you just parent this to the armature, and uh, it moves with the head, and then you give it a fluid. Our system type flow fire and smoke inflow and uh, let's see what else did I change uh, particle source so you want the flow source to be particle and select the particle uh, and give it an initial velocity if you don't want the fire to spread too far you want to reduce the initial velocity a bit uh, so that's why I have it at uh, 0.2 and uh, that was the settings for the smoke emitter and then for the <coughs> for the domain you can see the domain just because I, I didn't want the simulation to take up too much uh, simulation power 
I didn't make the domain too large. I just uh, estimated where the dragon would be, the dragon's head would be when it starts emitting fire, and uh, that's where the the uh, the domain begins as well. So you can see at around frame 109, uh, the dragon's head is already in the domain. So that means that uh, the particles can be emitted successfully. And uh, because I knew this, I wanted the smoke to collide uh, on these side walls. Let me get those. Uh, these side walls of this tunnel or castle. Uh, you can see I made the domain have uh, its borders colli uh, collidable with the smoke. So I have the bottom side because I want the smoke to bounce off uh, the floor and uh, on the left and then on the right of these walls so that uh, yeah, it bounces off. I didn't really care much about the top area because uh, uh, the camera was not going to see that anyways. Then for the domain, uh, the kind of set the settings I used, I um, just increased the resolution to 120 and if your home computer can handle it, you can increase it to even a higher uh, the higher the resolution, uh, the better the quality, but uh, that is going to come at a cost of your computation time. Uh, then I should have turned on adaptive domain uh, because that uh, reduces uh, the computation time, the simulation times a bit. I think that's the settings I used. I didn't really change much here, and I think the results are good enough uh, for what I was going for. Uh, yeah. I don't think I changed much. Maybe I changed this vorticity. I'm not sure though, but uh, I didn't really touch, mostly use the default settings for this uh, since it's a very simple setup. And the difficult parts would be to animate uh, the dragon and, uh, yeah, and the environment, which you can watch on my second channel, Blender Money, as I said. But, uh, let's uh, look at, uh, uh, maybe the other thing I could talk about is uh, how to make this collapsing uh, top. As you can see, uh, when the dragon comes in, it breaks through the walls and uh, we have these secondary uh, particles as well uh, that are just particles from this emitter. And I'm using some of these uh, fractures as a particle instance here. And I'm emitting those so that we have some extra debris uh, collapsing into our scene. Again, you can watch this in the time lapse how I set up this. Uh, but, uh, let's see what else. What else? So, for the fire emission, uh, to show the fire, let me select the domain. You have to give the domain a material. Uh, principal volume material and I just increase the density so that I can see the smoke and uh, also you can see the smoke is appearing there very visible and I increase the black body intensity if you don't increase this you won't see the fire so just give it a high volume a, a high value so that you can see uh, the fire and uh, you might also want to if you want to see the smoke you have to play with the density here to see the smoke then for the, I also added in some world uh, volumetrics and to have some volumetrics for the lights, for the lights and everything else. But I've, I've done a lot of tutorials on that, so I'm not going to repeat that. Let me maybe show you how I created the scales here for this dragon because I think they look uh, pretty nice uh, for uh, not a lot for the minimum work I added I use so without uh, the scales so you will if you download this what you're going to get is us uh, let me select the skin material uh, what you get is uh, this uh, texture here so the dragon basically looks like this oh without uh the scales that i added in so it looks like this uh, but uh, i added in that scale detail by using a scale texture so let me just show you how that looks 
So it's very, very simple. You can see it's not even repeat. It's not even tailable. I just, I didn't care that much. It wasn't uh, visible through the render. So uh, let me sh show you how the texture looks. It's very, very simple. Is it this? No, it's not that. It's supposed to be. Yeah, so this is uh, the texture I used. And I used UV texture for the mapping and uh, played with the angle a bit so that it aligns nicely with uh, the object. Oh, sorry, with the other textures. Then I mixed it using difference, with using the blend mode of difference uh, to get it to look like that. You can try different blending modes if you want a different look. Okay, that's a bit too dark. Now screen. So you, you can try different blending modes to get a different look, but I found uh, the difference blending mode made things look much better. And uh, if this is in the, if you pre, if you are looking at the final material, you can see how it looks much better. So let's try multiply. You see. So that would be dragon, I think. I see overlay. Subtract. So you can make some cool looking dragon. Ah, this already looks way much better. And uh, if you want to change the color of the gra dragon, let's go back to difference. You can even add another blending mode here. Change. Hmm. Okay. This could also work for a white dragon. But uh, you can change the color by just adjusting that. And just try multiply. So that's how you can get Dragon to look different. But uh, yes, yeah, so that's it. Again, the time lapse is going to be available to, on my second channel, Blade of Money. So if you want to watch that, you can look at that bad, bad boy. Now uh, just play the animation one more time. Where is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? You can see everything side by side there. And uh, I did this in a span of two hours, I think. So imagine if you spent a day or a week working on this with a powerful computer, how much detail you can add in there. Yeah, so that's it. I thank you for watching. If you're new here, you can uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.